let's talk about feelings. You know that heart pumping full stop feelings. I know that we're talking on social. I know that I can't see you, but just for a moment, imagine what it would feel like if you and I were sitting across the table talking about your goals, your ambitions, and why you want to achieve that, and what you would feel when it comes to you. Because here's the thing, you guys, in business to business high value services, don't shy away from feelings. It also shows that emotional intelligence that helps you elevate your entire game. Putting more emotional intelligence into your conversation can actually help you sell more faster. And who doesn't want that? For most entrepreneurs, the reason why they shy away from sales is it feels cold. It feels like I don't know why I'm actually doing it. I feel like I'm pushing. I feel like I'm flogging. I feel like I'm puked all over my client. And what feels good about that? Nothing. When you incorporate the feeling conversation into your conversations, all of a sudden, the whole room changes and shifts. Everything becomes a much more impactful. I challenge you, the next time you're in a sales meeting with a client and you're talking about what do you want, why do you want to achieve it, go one step further and ask them, what would it feel like to have that? And who would you become when you are that person, when you are that business? I see businesses that will come to me and they say, Kim, we want to be the market leaders. Great. How are you going to accomplish that? What does that mean to you? And we go through all of that. And then I ask them, how would you feel to be a market leader? And the whole room changes. And when we take it that extra step further, what kind of company would you become when you are feeling that way? It elevates it even more. Do feel be. If you can elevate your conversation and your question game, I promise you that you will sell more even faster.